Hi everyone, welcome back to Hello. BPR. That's us, Sprit Pops React. We've got Indeed. Falling in Reverse. Uh, yes, we have. Monster. So, <laughs> yep. we've done Falling in Reverse before and we've done Revamped, which we've been told now was very much different from the, the band's normal style. They yep. went very operatic, very movie, big sort of massive video that went with the, the revamp stuff. So yep. this is what we're told, different, um, and, and more back to what they're, what they're no, normally done. Because we, we didn't really score it too well because of because of that, I think. Um, it wasn't quite our, 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 our style, cup, was our it? Our cup of tea, no. So our cup of tea. Let's have a look, see what, what this one's about. I read, the, you know, I read the reviews, uh, sorry, the comments, um, and a, people, a lot of people were saying, you know, this is not their normal style. You need to check out some of their other stuff. Um, you will like it. It's a lot It's a lot different, a lot heavier, a lot rockier. Um, and the revamped was um, written um, by Ronnie, or re, re, recorded by Ronnie Radka uh, in commemoration, commemoration of a friend that passed away. Um, so, Popular Monster, song was composed and written by Ronnie Radka, Cody Quista and Tyler Smith. The song talks about Ronnie exploring his demons to finally become a werewolf. I mean, this is him talking about sort of the, the, the demons in his head. I think he suffered with a bit of depression. Um, he said, Popular Monster is the voice inside my head waiting for you to hear it. It is the story of a hero who was, who was being falsely accused and destroyed by society. So I guess Popular Monster. Um, okay, yeah. So what happens when you've been pushed too far, you become exactly what they say, you're exactly what they want you to be, a monster. Um, he, said the, he said that to write the lyrics, he was inspired by the film Joker. Uh, and again, as I say, it goes on to talk about depression and the accusations in his whole life. I mean, I don't know his backstory on what accusations they were, but um, maybe can, somebody could tell us. But here we go. This was released in November 2019 from the fourth single to be released without being an album. Uh, from the fourth studio album, Coming Home. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a whirl. Indeed. Yeah. up every morning with my head up in a daze i'm not sure if i should say this fuck i'll say it anyway everybody tries to tell me that i'm going through a phase i don't know if it's a phase i just want to feel okay yeah i battle with depression but the question still remains is this post-traumatic stressing or am i suppressing rage and my doctor tries to tell me that i'm going through a phase yeah it's not a fucking phase i just want to feel okay okay yeah i struggle with this bullshit every day and it's probably because my demons simultaneously rage it Pleasantly okay. surprised. Very, very, very different to what we listened to before. So, yeah, I mean, talk about switching it up there. I mean, I don't know what sort of genre of music this is. This is. I mean, we sort of classed it as sort of an indie type, American yep. indie sort of music. Yep. Um, and yeah, the difference I mean, straight away, straight more away. rappy Eminem. -y. I well, I, I, I was thinking Tom Tom McDonald. Tom I mean, we've just been Tom McDonald, haven't we? That that yeah, kind yeah. of that that start so was where very we going Tom. With that? Yeah, and, then, and then obviously took into sort of like that American, uh, sort of like the Green Day, the indie sort heavy of rock, yeah, rock. And then he's got some vocal on him because he started because he, he saw that in the last like the operatic yeah. one, although it wasn't yeah. my sort of thing. But you yeah, could tell he had a good voice. That. Yeah, good voice. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's good. I mean, it looked a bit sort of like an Eminem video there with the hoodie yeah. on. And, and, I mean, you know, yeah. It, well, completely different. So, glad we've come back. Yeah. 
I think I'm going nowhere like a rat trapped in a maze. Every wall that I knock down is just a wall that I replace. I'm in a race against myself. I try to keep a steady pace. How the fuck will I escape if I never close my case? Oh my God, I keep on stressing every second that I waste. is another second sooner to a blessing I won't take. But my therapist will tell me that I'm going through a stage. Yeah, it's not a fucking stage. I just want to feel okay. Okay, motherfucker, now you got my attention. I need to change a couple things because something is missing. Closer to the grave, I am Okay, interesting. So they they do very much. I mean, compared to like the last one, they spend a lot of time on the video, which is quite yep. impressive, isn't it? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, there's elements of it that I really like. So I like the chorus, the breakdown part of it, where he's yep. he's singing that. Um, I like the the rap part of it. Yeah. The the this sort of heavy particularly heavy bit we just saw there uh it's not my thing it's not the sort of thing i, I particularly like listening to and and the screaming so yeah, that's, but I mean, that's you... not really my part but the other part the sort of the rappy part the bit where he's more vocal and so i like it but the whole the overall style is very different styles in one yeah. so you know you need to but like I mean, if... a lot I think if you if you were writing a song about the demons in your head and depression oh, yeah. and, and how it's making you feel, you can see he's going on a journey and now it's the passion like, is there. The monsters come out, isn't it? It's like yes. I've reached breaking point and I'm letting everything out with the scream and and everything that goes with that. You know, if you were trying to sit down and explain to somebody what's going on in your, in your head, he's kind of saying it in this song. I think. Yeah, no, I, I agree. I, I, no, no, no. You're right. You're right. You, you, you sort of you could write about something and sing it. Or you write about something and you sing it how you feel it, and yeah. that's what he's doing. He's singing it as, as a movie, and so. that's why you know it's like a movie again. Yeah, yeah because yeah. you'll really get and see the story, which is very very clever. Um, so yeah, it's good. Right, let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> enjoyed that mate I think um, he's got a very good voice hasn't he really uh, he took me back if, to about 1997 there 1998 really with well just that sort of Green Day era I mean I, don't, right, okay, I haven't really gotcha. listened to early 2000s maybe that I haven't listened to for, for a long time you know I, I think yeah. we might have mentioned it a couple of times on the on our channel with a couple of others but it, this one in particular has that Real, I think we have 30 seconds to Mars, might have been the other one. Um, okay. but the, these are, yeah, a different style. And I think he sings it how he feels it, and I think that's yep. a big part of this band, yes. Yeah, yeah. I've, I'd say I don't really know much about 
uh, Ronnie Radker, but it, it sounds like he's a sort of, a, a, you know, um, a talented writer and he's sort of writing about his, a lot of his experience and so on. But um, I don't really know much about the band or, or the the, uh, the singer himself. But uh, as I say, if you were going to write a song and you're feeling, you know, you're dealing with demons and depression and, and sort of the... the the hate coming your way if you're going to write a song that would probably be something similar to what you come up with very much as i say tom mcdonald style i don't know if tom mcdonald you know uh, cites them as influences um but hip-hop rap rock heavy rock everything in there really mm. in what four minutes <laughs> what a yeah, journey it did go did go all over the place and the rap part was yeah. very very good come on yeah, let's I'd... put a score on the table um, I'm going to come in with a 8.9. I liked it. Okay. Yeah, all right. Fair enough. I mean, me, I, like I say, there was elements yeah. I liked, a couple of bits where I was just like, oh, it's not my sort of thing. Although, yeah. it matched the feel and the song. So, yeah. you know, I think you've got to be a certain person to want to listen to that and, and, and enjoy that sort of genre. So yeah. I would give it an 8. Okay. I mean, I, I have got a slightly more metal head than than he has you know i I do listen to her so you know fair play you know he he listened to it he he sat there and and took it all in it's maybe not his complete style but he got it there you go so in that case you give an 8.9 i give it eight eight and a half let's just chuck it up there 8.5 there you go lovely said we go back and we have yeah, I'm glad we did go back because after yeah. the first one, I really thought, oh, I don't know what this bands are like uh, about. Yeah, uh, I'm not going to like them. Probably not going to go on my playlist, even though I thought it was well produced. Yeah, but I'm glad we did go back because yeah, I like I say, I did enjoy parts of that song. It was good, and he's vocally, he's brilliant. So very good vocals. Yeah, do like that. Okay, thank you very much. Hit that like button. Uh, very much appreciate it if you liked our reaction today. Um, come and subscribe. And come on our journey and right down there in the corner under BP2. Um, you know, um, We go all over the place. We do. We, all, we've over done the place. all over the place. All over the shop. All over. <laughs> it's a goodbye from me. Goodbye from him. Falling in reverse. <laughs>